So Reactor is a powerhouse of more than 70 professionally designed instruments, but it's so much more. It's in fact an infinitely extensible audio environment, one that allows you to go below the surface to make modifications to instruments and even create your own. Let's take an example of using two Reactor ensembles together. In this case, we're going to use the carbon synthesizer, which I've loaded here. I can play some notes. I could sequence this in my host environment, but I could also sequence this using one of Reactor's sequencers, say the spiral radial sequencer. So what I'm going to do is making sure that my edit toggle is active, I'm going to come down here and split the view so that we can see below the surface. And now we're looking both at the, at the panel view, the instrument panel itself, and at the structure below the surface. And now what I'm going to do is drag in to the structure the sequencer that I would like to use, which is called Spiral. And once I do that, you will see that Spiral appears in the panel view as well. And here it is, it's already going. I can turn off my system clock to stop that. And to connect these up, what I might do is select Carbon, and then I would go up to my Properties tab, making sure that I have my Connect Sub tab selected, I will go down to From Internal Instruments. This will allow me to select a MIDI source from within Reactor. And then I'm going to select Spiral, the second one down. And now when I get this going, I should hear Spiral sequencing Carbon. First what I'm going to do, however, is bring down this clock value a bit so we slow things down. And then I'm also going to bring down my output so that we don't get any loud peaks. Now let's get going with this. Let's bring that audio back up. And there you have it. Spiral is now controlling carbon. This is simply one example of an infinite number of ways that you can use reactor instruments together. Now let's take a look at another way of using two reactor ensembles together. This time we're going to use the Limelight Drum Sampler together with the FastFX Multi-Effects Suite. Right now we have the Limelight Sampler loaded and it sounds like this. So we have a nice funky vibe there. Now what we're going to do is once again go back into our split view. And I see here that I have Limelight set up with a couple ins and a couple outs. And now what I want to do is select these outs by lassoing over them or clicking and dragging over them. I'm going to drag these out a bit because I want to make some space for my fast effects unit. I'm going to take the fast effects core and drag that in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect these wires together. So I'm going to click on the left output of Limelight and drag over to the in of fast effects. And I'm going to do the same for the right. And then with the outs, I'm going to reconnect these or connect them to begin with, with the outs that currently Limelight is connected to. And now Limelight will travel through FastFX on its way to the outs. So let's go out of our split view and get a sense for how this would work. Now there's Limelight. I can select some presets in FastFX and get some sample slicing going on here. You see as I mouse between these different scenes, I'm getting different effects. Get as out there as you want to. So this is another very basic way of using two reactor ensembles together, but it's a lot of fun.